My name is Annemarie Becker. I work for the Anne Frank House, an independent organization that serves Anne Frank's hiding place and sends out her life story and her words throughout the world. Uh, we're now standing in front of the actual museum, the front of Anne Frank's father's company, um, and behind it is the secret annex. Anne Frank uh, was a Jewish girl. She and her family lived in uh, Germany. Uh, when it became dangerous for them, uh, for the Nazis, they escaped to Holland and thought to find a, a, a safe place here in Amsterdam. Uh, we're now standing in front of Anne Frank's father's company. And when it also became difficult for the Jews in Holland, they decided to go into hiding and went into hiding behind the company of Anne Frank's father, the secret annex. They and four other Jews were in hiding for more than two years, helped by the employees of Otto Frank. On uh, August the 4th, 1944, they were betrayed and arrested and sent to concentration camps. He came back to Amsterdam, then read uh, his daughter's diary and had the diary published uh, like Anne had wished for. And because of this publication of the diary that was recognized by so many people worldwide, white, we still have the hiding place. And uh, nowadays more than a million people from all over the world come to, uh, to visit the museum and to see the place where Anne Frank uh, was and where she wrote her diary. Now we're standing in front of the secret annex, the place where Anne Frank was uh, more than two years in hiding and where she wrote her diary. Uh, this is the place visitors normally don't see. It's the back of the front house. And uh, in the middle you see Anne Frank's room, uh, which was blinded like the rest of the rooms, except for the, the window in the attic where Anne could uh, see the sky, the birds and the chestnut tree.